thank you all for agreeing to uh, be on this committee and showing up tonight. We are expecting one more member to come a little bit later. I don't think we need introduction. We all... For the record, yeah, should, yeah. We, should we for the record? Sure. All right, well, uh, I'm Miles England, the ex officio from the Select Board. Caroline Kendall, town administrator. Suzanne Hewitt, I offered as a member of the Budget Committee to serve on this. Kevin Haynes, planning board. Uh, Judy Nelson will be our uh, member from the school board. Um, and she arrives. Um, so, yeah, tonight's meeting, I really just wanted to um, do some introductions and um, figure out how we're going to operate as a committee and um, get some timing for some additional meetings on the calendar if we can. Um, but before all that, um, Suzanne has been gracious enough to update the spreadsheet that uh, we were working from. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh this is abominably not right. <laughs> no, it's a little wonky, isn't it? Um, Tall people might be more helpful. Hey, is it that? Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a stupid projector head. Yeah, but you could do that without making a, you know, climbing animal of you. So that will be yeah. yeah. so all current and adjusted. So that's what I did. Yes. yes. I, and I'll, I'll so walk you through it. If Miles wants to better, I'll walk you through. Thank you. Yes, please. I, I never responded to you. I apologize. Thank you. Um, okay. Is this updated with what we've been, Caroline? No. Okay. Just okay. what was appropriated as of the March meeting. Further, I noticed that you don't have actuals for 2019. Mm -hmm. You have what was approved. And so, what, so I just, 2019? No, I'm talking about 18. 18. In 2018, well, okay. there wasn't a the fund. You know, so we're close, uh, but we're, we're not down to actual dollars. Can I, can I go through? <coughs> Absolutely. The first thing that I was going to All right, thank you, ma'am. And then if you have a question, we can try to resolve it. Okay. All right. Shall we shut off the lights? Make it easier to see. As long as people don't fall asleep. There. Until it gets dark out. Okay, so so um, in 2019, this is the appropriation for to the CIP fund. These were the uh, items that were approved. Notice the zero dollars in message work is was approved. And this is per the trustees. In the annual report, this is the opening or the closing balance, I guess, on December 31st, 2018. So you take that pro this balance, add this, and subtract this total. Mm -hmm. You have this is what the balance is right now. So it, this this resolves any prior, you know, yes, prior year where actuals might have been different. So 295, 800, and so back here in this in the report itself, I've got a CIP balance and distribute. So that's the difference between what the spreadsheet thinks is in the CIP reserve fund and what is in the CIP reserve fund. So we've got about $13,600. That we can spread across yeah. or put in this year or whatever. whatever we, yes, it just is not showing up in this column called the CIP, the CIP reserve fund. I see. Okay. okay, so that we should be good. It doesn't take into account uh, this year's spending if it doesn't come true, but it's not going to, unless there's something huge thing, it's not going to be a big deal. Because we already uh, have a PO for the truck for 165, the police car. Um, there's been discussion about the boiler, but no decision about that okay. yet. Boiler so that would be, if that doesn't go through, then that would be a big uh, thing to add back in, but I think. I don't know how much was the Oh, just 10. Yeah, 20. 20 coming from CIP. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was approved for 25. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, so the highlights are where I have some questions in going through this. But what I did was I added uh, 2020 as the starting year, and then added another column at the end for 2019. Um, by, and then I highlighted any, I didn't make any changes other than put okay. zeros in every place and put what we thought we wanted to spend based on data that was already there. So this is why I thought, you know, perhaps we would like to resolve 
the baseline if we could do that tonight. So the first question was the town hall boiler. It uh, is still in there, and so we can just remove it entirely. Or, or not. I, we don't have to say that. I'm just saying that that's yeah. why that's there. Um, the town administration police facility is in there with this a big, a big amount, and it has purchased target year 2020. So I don't didn't know what to do with that. Um, but that's obviously the need to be resolved. Um, there's. Uh, let's see. In the police department, by the way, the this right here, the gross capital cost for police vehicle replacement was in there is twenty five thousand. That's why you saw a minus over on the okay. over on the right. So it's two hundred fifty thousand. Can you explain that? With, like that's it's over, that's ten, over ten, ten years. years. That's what, yeah. Oh, what's happened? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you set up a formula that, that doesn't work. So the radar message board is still in there now. It's twenty-five thousand. I didn't change the target year, but if you'll see all the way over here, it's now in the CIP reserve fund because it wasn't approved. So it's just that amount is. You know what else to do with it? So um, you know. I don't think there was any CIP money going to the message board. Right, because the previous years I don't. From previous years though. It was there from previous years, I think. What was the money set aside for it? Earmarked it. Was well, you, it's not really, it's not, you know, the CIP is not really earmarked. They're sort right. of just, I, I see it as It's guide. movable. It's sort of earmarked. Projection. So it's movable. Projection. Yeah. But there is, like, in the Warren article, it is not funded at all from CIP. But, but I think there was 25000 in that line. Okay. So if you look at 2018, there we go. Mm -hmm. Here's where Caroline makes a wire on me. Um, yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Did you check the table? Oh, I'm in the warrant. It's just on what page because it's the minutes and it's a lot of stuff. It's not, I'm, I'm not disagreeing about the warrant. I'm no, sorry. I'm talking about the 2018 warrant minutes is what I'm looking at. Why would the 2018 warrant minutes say? Because that includes the warrant itself. So, so I'm, I'm looking to see. So, so you weren't talking about, okay, you were just, just talking, talking about the CIP. Let's say a, yeah, say a year ago today. All right. I think in the in the CIP of a year ago today, I think 25000 was allocated. Was yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't change it. It's there. Mm -hmm. And again, if, if, for example, if this becomes a, you know, we've lost our opportunity, we're not going to do it, then that 25000 can also be reallocated, right? Uh, uh, let's see. Digital fingerprint system. Why did I highlight this? Oh, I highlighted this because the purchase target year is 2020, but the, uh, it's, it's not, 2021 is when it's scheduled to, so there was this discrepancy and I didn't, you know, I wasn't going to resolve it myself and just point it out. So there's that. Uh, portable mobile radios, um, it's only there just because do we want to keep it there? Do we want to already plan for the replacement? It's the only reason it's there. The air packs, the air packs filling station was a question for me because it also had a purchase starting year of 2019 and yet it wasn't on any warrant. So it also has fifty thousand dollars in the reserve fund. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure that's for twenty twenty. Well I think smart? it was originally slated for nineteen, but in nineteen it like in preparation for the ballot of nineteen it just got unprioritized, I guess. Alright. Do you want me to put twenty twenty right now? I think that's I think that's say yep. Um yeah Mark was just talking about it a couple weeks ago. Okay. So For 2020. Okay, so Hold on. On that same thought, do you want to change where you have the digital fingerprinting system from 2020 to 2021, which is where it's first mentioned? If it's just a matter of yeah, you people know, tightening up this up so we have a good working base, yeah, right. then let's make um, match what we can. So that should be 
you know, target in 21 or, or in the CIP for 2020? Well, we can, just, just to get a baseline, again, so it doesn't mean we... I right, and it, it is, is just so a so projection. We'll just put 2021 here, is what I'm hearing. Yep. And okay. then that will match. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, fire engine replacement had a purchase target year 2028, but if you come all the way over, there, what's being put there, nowhere comes right. close. So I'm just pointing that out. I'm not suggesting anything, just pointing it out. Um, so under highway department, replace the top kick. This is what we just did. So if we wanted to have another line for just a future sorry. replacement, yep. that's why that's highlighted. There's no nothing out, there's no purchase price and no, no year. Um, See, you could, you could. I don't know if it makes sense. You know, I'm, I'm not sure how you're defining baseline, but if you want to replace the um, the 2007 GMC top kick with the 2019 Freightliner, y yes, yeah. Because what we're, we're trying to do is get out, getting it. Yeah. So it's a 2019 Freightliner. Yeah. But that sh should be beyond. It, you know, it should have a year of replacement on that. Right? Yeah. Well, so maybe it's, well, yeah, there's that. Um, I mean, can we put a date that's yes. 2030? Or we can. Yes, and, and not if, and just for, say, let's be honest, we can just spend that just money to account for it. Just, I think it's important to have a placeholder Absolutely. so that you remember in three years right. to start. Right. I agree with that. Okay. So, do you want to think about what the target year might be? Or as long as it's beyond the 2029, I think that gives some... Has it been going 12 years? Well, been doing 12 years? this truck that we just got rid of was deemed as being very soon to be replacing it. So I would imagine more than... But we should get George's input, probably. Yeah. Okay, so we just leave it a question mark. Yeah, and a question mark. And it looks yeah. like it's not going to fall within this anyway, so it's not going to affect the 10 year period. It's just there. It's well, just it'll not going to be a placeholder. Well, it's where she. Except that I would hope that we would start putting a. Like, in terms of the 10 year plan, in year three or four, yeah, we should start there. putting some money into it. it. Yes, but not necessarily. Yeah, it's so not for the 10 year plan. Yeah, yeah, but not. And by but, the time we get to 2020, 2025, 20, 20, 20, yes, that will be firmly okay. set on the plan. All right. So we, I think we've agreed we'll keep that and we'll look at the date and then we'll think about what we might need to add. Um, transfer station, uh, there was nothing other than to point out that these two lines, again, they're not very large and so there hasn't been anything distributed and that's probably perfectly fine because they're really very far away. So there are two things, and this is where... Uh, uh, the the version that I gave you was definitely not the, the right one, but um, I see Quonset huts in the um, transfer station. Yes, yes. Okay. two Quonset huts, um, thirty thousand dollars, and I don't know. We, we think it's this. We think it's twenty twenty. Is last year. Quonset hut or huts? huts. Two. And thirty thousand dollars total for them. Total for the two? For the two. Yeah. That's that's the And the year you'd like me to put? Let's start let's say twenty twenty because we He was asking for it for nineteen. Okay, so that would there's nothing allocated so I could put right. thirty here. Yep. Just to just to make sure we have everything. And then just I'll zero I'll do that do that at home. Okay. And I'll get it sorted out. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. Okay. But once the department heads come in, these may be modified. Oh, yeah. And also the order of necessity, all that will be reviewed by the department heads. Yes. Prioritized, I guess, is what you're saying. Well, yeah. Yes, and then for this group to prioritize, you know, on a broader scope for a recommendation to the select board. but. One thing I just wanted to mention is that the school board has graciously offered um, the expertise of the facilities director to 
start trying to assess the needs of this building. Um, that is not going to include the full scope of what this building needs. We kind of know that. Um, Tom Clark's going to help with that. Um, and we feel as this is be qualified. To so, so, so I guess my point is, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think we should ignore this building, but that we should consider this building. But this building does not have a department as representative That's, yeah. to speak for it. Um, and and you know we don't. You know, the board has not made a decision about this building, and that's still very much in flux, but maybe it's worth considering systems and improvements in this building to add to that plan, you know, and then, and then maybe they get completely ignored because we're proposing a building that negates the need to do those. But just, um, I'm not sure that we should just ignore the needs of this building. We should at least acknowledge they have needs, and then maybe it's decided that they don't get addressed. But don't we do that under general This is under general government administration. That's where they go. So there are some things. And there I mean, is there's some big tie-ins with what happened in the police station versus well, the, the needs of this building to, to support the town. Right. So they do go hand in hand quite a bit. Yes. And it's gener there's a generator and a town hall compressors. Compressors and a generator. And security upgrade and a roof. So I don't, I don't think, uh, what you're saying, I think, is that it may not, this, this is clearly not comprehensive. Yeah. Right. And well, from my are. experience on the board, I totally agree. I mean, we were just, because nobody's in charge of this building. It's, so we yes. get, kept getting blindsided when something happened. And so I just want it on our radar and, and to let you know that hopefully I'll have something to add to that list as a result of the assessment however incomplete, an assessment by the building inspector and the facilities director of the school. And the, uh, the school is willing to, this is not going to be an additional cost for the town, it's going to be absorbed by the scope of his This is one day. Oh, one day, okay. This is one day, and it's one step at a time. And Tom Clark's going to be involved too, because I, yeah. They, they, They're going to work together for that one day, okay. and I don't know what kind of, inf like, what level of comprehensiveness we'll have as a result of that one day. But it's added import because I mean, obviously there's people in town. I mean, you're very familiar with the building. The chief is very familiar. I mean, there's other people that are very. You're very familiar with the building, I'm sure. Well, but again, I mean, we would just be blindsided by things happening because you know we didn't. It has to be. We're on, not. We're not facility supervisors, right? So yeah, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe it has to be on the CIP. Yes. We know that the AC systems here are out of are well past their lifespan. There are four of them, and one was replaced for eleven thousand dollars. So right there, we know that we know we, we need three ACs. And yeah. should, you know, is it up there? Yeah, <coughs> well, experience tells me that every time we meet with the department heads, the target of purchase seems to be sooner than we anticipated. Twenty twenty five, maybe well, clearly twenty twenty one if they're, if they're failing, or twenty twenty if they're failing. Right. Right, but everything can't be next year. So but I like your thought about this building can't be. It's, it's I mean, regardless, this building is going to have to be addressed. Yes. Depending on its, regardless of its use, really, it's, it's a big, you know, historic building in town. Regardless, it has to be to some degree. Did I, I, I kind of bring you back? There's I had one more baseline thing that I forgot to mention. I think that is the port. Maybe I did mention the portable mobile radios, yes. which. Uh, were bought, and the question is, you know, again, did, does the can we get rid of this, or do we keep it on? And is there already a replacement? I believe his intention was that it would just remain in the operating budget from here on. Yes. Right. So, is does the group want? It There's is, nothing on that entire line item all the way up to the end currently. Oh, that's and, and should we review nothing that with? Okay. okay. And should we review that with him before we? Yeah. You know. But some, we Same did have a discussion in the past about what should be operating budget items versus CIP items. I know that we've gone back and forth on that one. And, and part of the challenge is that since they will all be brand new, we don't necessarily... He's not buying initially as many as he knows he needs, so they'll be in the operating budget. Um, but I guess just having on our radar that just because something's going in the operating budget doesn't mean you need to replace it the following year or, or contribute to, you know, in this case, I think you will need to buy more radios every year for, for a bit to 
get them to the level he needs, and then he can start rotating them yeah. out. But I'm just yeah. having sort of a processing moment out loud that, you know, you buy a bunch of things that are brand new. You don't need to start rotating in the next budget year. It's going to be a few years before you, and, and somebody needs to be thoughtful about that, which is not necessarily this group, but just, we, we don't really have a good mechanism for keeping track of those kinds of things, I, I guess is all I'm saying. Well, I think that you, you know, with the exception of uh, the, the, you know, the issue about the police facility, I mean, I think you've answered my question. I mean, you, you've resolved this. And I think, you know, when I go back, I could just make it baseline. I mean, there's some things that are not answered yet, but we don't, but we know, at least know what the issue is, like the message board and, and, and the, the mobile radio and, um, and the like. Uh, and I'll unhighlight Air Pax filling station. Uh, we'll just because we said 2020, so that's not an issue anymore. Um, and and we have the, all that 50,000 in. It in is CFP. here. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right here. Um, there was one other thing that I had. I'm sorry. It's here. I pointed it wrong. It's here. This is yep. And it's 15th and 4th Street. Do you want to see how they're currently allocated? Would that helpful? Is that uh, what do you What do you mean? Well, where where we where CIP reserves? Oh, are. sure, yeah. So well, so since you're going to that, the, what was published in the town report is only twelve hundred dollars allocated toward the message board. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, twelve hundred dollars. So I'm not, you know the board did do some real allocation of. Yeah, but it was 23,800 in 2019, right? So the CIP had allocated and told this, the, this plus this is the 25,000. Oh, okay, because you're putting more. I see what yeah, so saying. I had to, I had to, uh, I thought that column was over, I, I see what you did. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That makes more sense. So, again, there's the, there's the 25,000, whether it stays or flows, at least. Okay. Um, I, I'll um, highlight it. What was I? Oh, so here's what's currently in the CIP reserve fund, as it was thought through last year's process. 140,000 in, in town administration slash police facility. 25,000 for the radar message board. 15,000 for the forestry vehicle. 50,000 for air packs. 50,000 for an articulator mower. So that must have come, yeah, well, I don't know. But anyway, uh, unless I've done something wrong, it seems like it did. Mm -hmm. uh, the 50,000. Yeah, that's, okay. that's right. Back hole replacement, 2,222. That's it. And then that's all the real funds that are already that, in that, place. That amount, outside. yeah, those, those amounts plus this 13,575 equals there's our account. There's 295, our account. which is the fund balance. Thank you. For doing that was helpful. You're welcome. I love doing this. <laughs> I'm happy to sort of just keep it up. Are you, are you okay with that? I'm um, absolutely I, very I fine with that. I think we would love to have your help with that. I appreciate that very much. Um, LED streetlights, um, which isn't on this list, but I think we need to put it on this list. Um, under, I guess, general yeah, government. Yeah, here I would say, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's, we're waiting for a proposal, I guess I can say. Um, we have proposals for buildings. We're, yes, we're waiting for a proposal on streetlights. Um, so there's a program that, it's a ever source with a contractor that essentially you pay the same rate you've been paying until the equipment gets paid off. So they, they give you a loan up front, essentially. So there's no out-of-pocket expense. But, but there's also 50% forgiveness. Yes. Okay. Um, so they, so, so we're, they're getting paid back by the difference between yes. our normal, what has been our normal payment, yep. and, and the, the reduced cost. So we are reach at the zero. end of that, after the paybacks are short, two, two and a half years, then it's paid off, our electricity bill goes way down, and everything's good. Um, but I do think we should add it here. Um, but there's no grant money or anything. I'm showing my ignorance here. 
there's no money available for this. It's just no. It's it's uh, the money is there allocate like it's. The state has funds, Eversource can access okay, for these purposes, you know, for municipalities. Eversource has their preferred contractor that they work with. And funds have been, you know, there's this pocket of money. Right. And as soon as we can get contracts and get the contracts approved by the board, then they will give us the money and put us in a queue to start the project. It only takes a few weeks. And then we'll get our reduced electric bill, and then we're paying that back. But that. from our standpoint, our, our current costs remain the same because right. so it's it's, that there's difference. more profit for them once this is installed, and then that the difference, the profit that they're making on our between what the cost is and our normal bill, that's applied towards the low, the, the fifty percent cost of this that yeah. is on us. Yes. So if, but we're only paying back fifty percent. Is that what I'm saying? Cool. It, it, it's actually so if you were to do an outright buy an outright, it's a fifty percent. Production with the loan, it's forty percent. There's, there's a small there's a interest limit. rate. So the as far rate. as you know, not street lights, but as far as all the town facilities go, there is interest because it's a loan. The total interest we'd be on the hook for is like two to four hundred dollars. And it's really true that the payback on this is two or three years. That's the yeah. time it takes to pay off. They struggle with that, but then again, it's half. Right, it's half. But it just does not. I mean. The bill is going to be really drop. The, the electric bill, yes. the electric cost is going to be yes. so much lower. Yes. But then to make the money off that, the yes. spread between that and exactly. our current, and that's why it works. Yeah, it uses like a tenth of. It so it's a, it's yes. a fabulous program. It's a really, it's, it's, a it's, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Yeah. Um, yes. There's a comment I want to make when we get back to this, sure. but but uh, so with regard to the LED and. Um, I assume we're, we're, it's open for conversation now. Is that sure? Yeah, yeah. So, currently, when a street light goes out, who's responsible for replacing that street light, and, and and who bears the cost of it? And is that the same in the future like with LED? We bear the cost. Eversource does the work, bills us if it is on a town road. If it's on a state road, it's state responsibility. I didn't know they filmed us. I've called them and they've come and done it. And it's a well, so, so, right, and that was what I was going to say, is that they have billed us in the past. I don't know that they always bill us, because it doesn't seem to be a right out there line item, you know, street light replacement bulb cost, bam, in, 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 as part of your, your bill. So, you know, but I know that they have built us. So, so that part is out there. And, and they did not mention in their proposal that there would be any change to how they operate in that way. So I don't imagine it would change. But as I said, it's not really clear because I think they have the right to bill us because the streetlights are our responsibility. Um, but they don't seem to. So the, the, so the question I'm driving at is, <clears throat> if there's a cost to us going at, at any point to replace these things, are they a lot more expensive than? It would be good to know. That's a good question. You know, they should, they be, should they be some amount put in the operating budget, for example? Yep. Just a question. But I think we'll have time to figure that out because we will have the same operating budget until we're right. Except for, because in theory, within the time that you're paying off the loan, you're probably not buying new bulbs because Hope the bulbs last, is not last, last, such a long supposed to last forever. Right, right. But, then, but then your electric costs are going to go down, so that's additional funding that you could have to, if it needs to be for bulb replacement. Right. So right. One, one thing I did want to point out it, 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 that I noticed when I was going through this is that the, the sort of year of outlay or, the, pay, or the, the year that we wanted to get the item is also a year, the same year that we're still putting something yeah. in, and we'll right. which I tried, it, I wasn't always successful in avoiding, but I tried to avoid it when I was like working on this. And here's the, here's the one potential issue, is that, so the, you, you not only need agreement on the item itself that you want to have funded, but also on the amount of money that's going into the CIP, because you're, you're using... You're, you're double using the you yeah. know, taxing, well, it's not exactly, but... Not exactly, but It'll so be that at way. the moment, at the moment, there's enough balance in the CI. So if I look at the next couple of years, if you look at, and this is going to change, I think. But if you look at these next two or three years, right. there's sufficient balance in the CIP such that if it, even if the 
addition to the CIP is mixed, you'd still be able to withdraw this amount of money in this year anyway, you know. And if it didn't happen this year, but it happened this year, you'd still be, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd be okay. But if you have to, I'm just saying it just so that somebody remains aware of that. Um, especially when it's, you know, 20,000, 35,000. I don't think that point has been brought up in all the years we've been doing that. Have you? I know that, well, well, CIP made the recommendation of the board, <coughs> then the board did its thing, and when I went through, I would make sh I, I worked this to try to avoid having a year of outlay be a year that a lot of money was going in. It's just, just I didn't make that. a point of it, I just did it, because yeah. it, you know, but as right. I'm no what's, longer... What's the aware of it, depositing it yeah. on Tuesday to withdraw it on Wednesday. Yeah, that's exactly oh. what you're doing. <laughs>
is separate, although I actually have a question on that too that I have to ask. So that's why I leave it at 400 at this point, and we'll see if that okay. covers that. <clears throat> the air ventilation system, uh, that's, I believe that is throughout that is throughout the building. We have that at 450. He has that at 450 as of March. So. And, and that, that is the order that, it, that it is in. Um, some things that we are already taking care of. And then the next big thing that's coming up, I don't know, I guess yeah, not, it was on here once before, but. And then looking way a little further out into the, way out into the future, I shouldn't say a little, the future has a way of creeping up on us. But there's also um, roof replacement for the main building. What sort of target year do you anticipate for that? Uh, that's out there, and again, I was going to, I know it was on, it was on one of these lists, and I don't see it here now. And this is just the main building, not the annex. The main, yeah, the annex was done last year. And the gym, and over the gymnasium? Uh, the gym is, I'm trying to think, it's a peaked roof, right? But that, that, that was done? I'm is not that sure a, when that was okay. done. So that, that may be part of the main building. Right. I think we may be considering that as part of the main building. Do you have a, an estimate? Uh, there was, and I, I don't see it now, so. Um, And we can just leave it. As well, I think it was. I think it was around between three and four hundred thousand. Do you want me to put anything? Do you want to come back to the? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll come back to you on that. So some of the other things that that we're getting done this year, the front steps have been replaced to make them <laughs> safe, <laughs> for one thing. Yeah, they're, and, and to make them, you know, to not have the concrete. And the cupola is being uh, restored, re re um, refurbished. The cupola will no longer be the big eyesore in town. Mm -hmm. Someone, some, some, something else in town is going to have to take the place of that. It's probably, is there any issue with uh, having to use uh, period correct materials? No. Pass that? No, it, you know, if, if we had gone after um, a grant yeah. to, to help re to restore it to its original. But even with the grant aside, it would have been more expensive too. Yeah, it would have been much more expensive. Even, even with the grant. It even been, with the grant. It would have been. So we're not, we're not bound because of the status of the building. We have to we're not bound. use period correct. That is correct. That's correct. We are not bound, but it is there. It is going to be made to look. Um, of course. And, and and I don't and I, I I don't believe they're using like plastic wood. I, mean, I think they're using real wood to do it, but, but not you know not exactly. Well, they're professional. They're gonna they're gonna I mean, their names on it. Yeah, and one of the biggest one of the biggest things there is the um uh, the biggest cost there. It, it, what we are we are actually doing it out of this year's funds. We have it in next year's budget, but we're doing it out of this year's funds. And one of the biggest costs is the renting of the lifts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, I imagine. We, we, as you yeah. know, with the roof, yeah, yeah. the steeple will appear. We're getting those things done this year. And, and we have really been um, working through a lot of window replacement, a lot of the roof on the, on the kindergarten and the annex was done. There's been a lot of repaving done. Um, other things that are coming up, which are not on here yet, uh, but, and, and we'll look at doing them probably again piecemeal, is the windows in the main building. You've been paying for those things just out of... We'll be doing them somewhat piecemeal. As we, call. we did them in the annex. We were able to do it out of... Um, <laughs> operating. Operating with budget. It. At that point. Okay. But anyway, things are... We, we've actually, there's a whole page of things that have actually been done yeah. that, that were on the IPEA study, which is just been great. So, Good but, job. And, uh, yeah, and we're trying to get a little more formal. We're not there yet. As you can see, that's all that's up there. But we're trying to get more formal, and, and we're going to have a more formal, I think, building committee by the start of next year. So It's really great how yeah, you all have tackled the building and created a list and cross things off the list. Well, it helped having the IBEA study, which, you know, which, which again, the, the, the town sort of pushed for, and, and as, we, as, as we move forward with stuff, uh, it's, it's really important to have. The other thing that we're doing, and I know everyone in this room is aware of it, but I think it was only two years ago when it was fully, three years ago when it was fully clarified that we can use our building uh, capital reserve fund as a capital reserve fund. We don't, it's not just used as an emergency. We can actually be putting money aside. You may remember, remember we used to always just say, well, let's put 25000 in. Well, now, we've, for the last two years, maybe three years, we've been putting 75000 in. 
So we are, um, it's going to be helpful. It's going to be very helpful. Our current balance is about 250000 I mean, it's not a lot when you look at what's ahead of us, but um, it's better than what it was. And so we're, we're, we're really trying to build that up when we can. Is that funded by money left? Like, I yeah, know money that is not spent in the budget. Right, okay. Right. I don't know if you have any questions. It, it, it's not quite, this is probably not as detailed as it needs to be, but we will be working on that. Well, we're, we're not going to finish coming in from all the department heads as we proceed, so that's when things will get a little more exact, I think. Yeah, when, when, when will we be doing that? That's the topic of discussion. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Because oh, it's our rough cut agenda. Um, so, yeah, I, I, okay, I wanted yeah. to establish. Um, <coughs> at least some rough timeline. Um, so, if I can back up a second. Um, I believe in the past there has been a chair of the committee, or now I'm not really... I don't, I don't know either, but isn't it good to have a chair just to I, I believe it's just to lead the meeting. Just, yeah, yeah. You call it, make sure our um, administrative so, stuff is taken care of. So having said that, um, I don't believe that an ex officio is um, supposed to serve as chair. I would like to make a nomination. Uh, okay. The floor is open for nomination. I would second that nomination. <laughs> All right. All right. I saw that one coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all eyes are on you. Are there any other nominations? <laughs> all right. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. And thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, having said that, um, I, I know the Budget Committee has a calendar already, and we need to fit in with that. Um, yes, I don't have that in front of me, but I assume yeah. that you, you were aware of that? I'm aware of it. it um, I, don't know the I don't know where you, um, I mean, I don't know where the CIP comes into place, but I, I'm just saying this is my experience on the board. I wanted the CIP done ASAP because it is it it, it has such an impact. It, will, it interfaces with the operating budget to a great degree because those are the two big influencers on the tax rate. And so, to the extent that you know the CIP is done, that it, it allows time to I'm going to say the word fudge. I don't re really mean fudge, but you know to see what can what can be moved. Go back to department heads. Do you know Do you know what I mean? Uh, so uh, I, I would I would prefer to march along as quickly as possible with this. If that's if the committee is okay with that. I agree with that, and I I think for department heads this should be. I'll, I'll use the word easier than their regular operating budget. There's not you know there's not 45 items here. There's a few items that um, they need to prioritize. And Which of us have has because I have not served on this committee. When it is talked with department heads, so what? All right. So what? What is that like? I mean, are they are they prepared to come to us? Are we supposed to? So we give them a date and say, you know, we're meeting on this next date, and we probably shouldn't do them all at once. And they come with their proposal. They they know we will email them what we have on the books so far, and they will come and talk about typically what they want for the following year. Mm -hmm. um, and we always tell them we want to know everything that you own and everything that you can anticipate wanting to purchase within the next 10 years. And, and we get sometimes best case scenario now maybe two to three years out of things. Um, there's always reprioritate. Like, typically by all departments, there are brand new things that we're not aware of that are the priority for this next ballot. Sure. And then whatever is already on the list becomes number two and three. Um, There's are also they asked? failures of, of and I'm going to interrupt. No, but there's also things that come up at these meetings that we're finding out this, you know, this 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 pavement's collapsing or right, you know, we, right. our, our air filling station is really compromised and we get a lot of that. I mean, yes, they've right. seen what they their wish list for lack of a better term, but then they come to us also with, hey, this 
Right. This just got kind of it, fell in our lap. Right, and, it, and it's not the fault of the department heads um, necessarily that it is that way, but it is because, you know, the, you know some other communities letting us a piece of equipment and they're no longer going to do that. Or yeah. they bought one outright that they're going to not share with us anymore. You, you know, there are other extenuating circumstances mm -hmm. that lead to new things getting added to the list. Um, but once we hear from all the department heads, typically then this group discusses all of the requests and tries to commingle them into what makes sense for what you're trying to say about level, as close as we can get to level tax rate level requests mm -hmm. and, and kind of a broader prioritization um, by way of a recommendation to the board. Yeah, so I, I always saw that this committee made, you know, did its, was the first time it made its recommendation to the board, but then it was the board who then yes. made final decisions. The exception was last year that Denise handled things a little bit differently when she ran this committee, and this committee did not make a recommendation to the select board, but instead just sort of carried information to the select board. And so the select board made an attempt to do a broader level reprioritization and put whatever its decision is on the ballot. When we get in touch with the department heads and give them what they have already, are we asking them, and I would suggest that we do, to also review uh, you know what the current year is as oh, well, absolutely. As, well yes. as the amount. Yeah. Absolutely, so, because amounts change yeah. and you know what you plan to replace yeah. this for in 10 years, you might have a different idea about what that might be. Okay. Yes, so that's all on the table. And I find those, the meetings with the department heads, a lot of information exchanged, but a lot of work is actually done at that point, decisions are made, because I think after we've met with the last decision head, I think we have one more final meeting and then it's, it's pretty much ready to go. So as we're discussing the department heads were kind of adapting this in that meeting and I mean, most of, a lot of times we come away with what it is in that one meeting with the department heads. It moves yes, quickly. Yes, but this will be better workflow so that we can, you know, with your help, revise the documents in these meetings yes. so that we're not making a decision and taking our notes and somebody going home and making the revisions and sending that on to the board. That workflow will help a lot. Okay. All right, good. good. But to go back to what Kevin's saying, it typically doesn't require a lot of meetings to hear from department heads. Okay. So what? So what do you suggest? So uh, can we ask you to to? Uh, I can reach out to them once we all decide what a next meeting is. That maybe we um, get with department heads. I would say let's schedule the next two meetings right and, and divide them amongst two and see yeah. for the depa main department heads which of these two works better. Well, we can ask you to actually be the person who put this down in the email, what we're expecting of them. And yes, I can call them. Absolutely. Yeah. So all you want from us right now are dates. Two, two, two more dates? Yes. And George has been here through a couple CIP years. How long has George been here? Two, it'll be two years this fall. And of so course, chief, and of course, chief. So, yeah, okay. So, calendars. Calendars. And put it each. Yes. <laughs> So, when does the budget committee get started in earnest? Yeah. Is it like September? Or, um, I know I saw the list at one point. But do you have the budget committee dates? Just I, um, I do, actually. They should be um, not into January, February, etc., but they should be on the, they're not on the, um, actually, I think they are on the public calendar on the website. So I'm not going to put it up there because my calendar is also going to be part of it. I don't want to. So, um, yes, the next one is July 24th. It's on the calendar. July 24th. Yeah, that's a review. But when, it, so some. So the department had ones. Oh, so I didn't, I didn't put, I don't think I put which, which departments, which night. Um, I'll look for that. I think I just 
put them on the calendar. So, so if your CIP is on the BC calendar. It is. The, the oh, BC okay. calendar did create, like, okay. did decide which departments were going to present to them on which date. But as far as the public calendar goes, okay. I only put so, them on the BC okay. meeting. Got it. I just want to make sure we have our stuff done before that meeting, right? Yes, that's. Yeah. Yes. But I don't think there's any. I, I think we'll be well and good because I am. That wouldn't be until. All right. The next one after that is October sixteenth. They're not meeting until October 16th. Yeah. But if we get participation and you know, active role in the department heads, I think we can roll this up. Yes. You know, I think if we, were, if we were done this by, what is today, June? June by, 18th. Yeah. By, you know, early August, I think we, does that sound like we're in good shape? Oh, yeah. So I don't see it taking um, long, but that, that, that's it's fair to everybody. Better. Yeah, that's fair. It might be better. aggressive. I mean, if we're trying to fit in two meetings between now and early August, I think like end of August is, is all right. <laughs> yeah, it depends only because it's summer. Can we July. try for middle of August and then we can push August. it off if we have to? Right. I mean, Beautiful. we don't have to wait a month before we meet again because, True. right? So yeah. we just need to give. We need to provide enough time for department heads right. who are meeting with us the first week to right. So not to, you know plan the first meeting uh, out a little bit so that they can right. think about. But I mean three weeks from now should be sufficient time. I I, I agree. It should be okay. more than sufficient time. Oops. What when's the fourth? When's that? Is that that third week? Week after next. So we get one, two, or oh, it should be week after the fourth. Yep. Um. So Tuesday night's planning. They, the moved, they bumped it to the ninth. Yeah. But we could do the 16th. Um, That's a full month from now. Yeah. Yes, it is. However, I'm on vacation that week. This week of the 15th? <laughs> the, with, yes, I am. Can we do it the, like, um, no. We could do a different evening and do, like, the 11th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yes. I, I want to keep the fall rolling. Yes, I, I agree. Okay, so there's, um, there is a school board meeting on the 11th. Yeah. No. We don't meet in July. And then we'll put that on the calendar. No. Because you put it down for every single Oh, week. right. Okay. okay. Well, I didn't, but somebody did. All right, so we're talking Thursday the 11th? Yep. Okay. That's great. Is that what does that work for everybody? Yes. Yep. Thursday. Okay, and then um, and 6 30. Oh, did you already add? What? Thursday, July 11th? Um, I'm looking at Judy. Well, we usually do. No. So we have to do the fire, police, I did not. road, Highway. Yeah. school. July 11th, I have nothing here. And then I just want to. Oh, town administration, we really don't have a spokes head, do we? No. That's what we talked about earlier. As far as the facility is concerned. Could we ask right. you to serve that in the capacity of just bringing us the information? That so by then we should have well, information yes. from our. From, yes. So whatever that is, I will bring it forth. Absolutely. Um, I'm not sure how helpful that will be. Because we need two but nights of meetings to, to satisfy all the department heads. I yeah. think that would be best so that they're not waiting around yeah, waiting right. for the other one. We don't need three there. nights. And I don't, we I don't certainly can't do them all in one night. It's too much No, so I would say two one night. And then on the, on the other night with the one, I would suggest we put a call out to cemetery and library oh, and yeah. you know anybody who probably doesn't have anything but we probably ought to touch base with them anyway yeah because you never know you never know you never know but that at least we're involved in okay so for that first one july 11th shall so, we yeah. um oh and we also have transfer station transfer station with highway you know their their transfer station is rising to the level of um more stuff to talk about than you know, it, it's kind of like, it, it, it is its own department. It's amazing. Really. <laughs> um, 6.30 so, p.m. So I would, let's put a highway and transfer station on its own night with the other incidental smaller departments that might want to come. Yeah. I mean, I would be and very I think they're like, you know, I, I'm not able to. You like I, no, no, no. How can I help? I need a, something to write with. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> What I got paper. What are those called? Oh, pen. Um, I just don't want to publish my calendar. Here, you want me to put in? I'd rather not wait three weeks in between meetings of the of the. Uh, so Thursday, the seven eleven. 
at 6.30. I'm sorry, I'm just going to try to catch up now. It's Thursday? Thursday the 11th at 6.30. And we're suggesting, um, do we know the departments? Or well, I was, I was going to suggest that we not do um, police and fire on the same night okay. because they're probably both mm -hmm. the, like the heaviest. Okay. So maybe, but at the same time, highway and transfer together are more than really one. So maybe we do police but and fire. But you have to put it up to them and see how they respond and then let us know how they yeah, I, I think yeah, that's fair. Yeah, let's because somebody needs more time. Yeah, right. right. So let's pick okay. the other night, and then I'll. I'll okay. The call so we don't have two nights, three weeks apart. I mean, I, I'd rather just keep the ball rolling if we can. I know that's it's so tough for people's time, with you, but I don't want to wait three weeks in between two department heads. And so three weeks July twenty fifth. Well, yeah. Let's. Wait, wait, let me just look at that. What day Thursday the twenty fifth. So that's a. Yeah, I'm all for keeping things. Yeah. That would be two weeks later. Yeah. Thursday, another Thursday. Yeah, that would be good. And that brings us right that brings us right to August and we can make it yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, does that? Okay, seven twenty five to six thirty. Oh yeah. You, that's not the week you're on vacation. No, it's the okay. week after. We're doing it the week before. And do we the want to set one for two weeks later after that? Um so that's kind of like it's kind of easier to so just it's like it's it'll just be us and I think so much so much of the decision making happens at the actual meetings of the department heads. As I Indeed. recall, yes, so I much agree. is done when we're meeting with them, we're doing it that it's done. It's not like we have to get back together and discuss it. It's it's done at the table, as I recall. We get a lot done, but I think because the meetings are heavy with department heads, um, we probably would want a meeting after yeah, like that. A conversation. To, well, because when they're present we can't we can't have the conversation that although department, you know, C is presenting, you know, remember that department A and B want these other things. Right. You know, we're hearing them about their priorities. I agree with well, you. We, I, yeah, I understand you have to have one final priorities. private meeting where we put all our thoughts yes, together. But I think one is enough of that. Yes, because so much happens at the meeting. Agreed. Yes. About Tuesday, August 6th. Right, the reason is it? All right. Um, first Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Why can't yeah, you do it on a school board meeting? Well, do you not, do you care? Well. Really, how, how much have I contributed? Let's just ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. It's, it's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, let's, let's be honest. Let's not. Let's well, I don't know, know, but you're momentum. supposed to be helping. You know, as a member of the committee. You know, you're part of the committee. Right. The judgment. You know, the body you're judgment. viewing the other departments in there. We view. value you for every. I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. That being said, August. The sixth is a Tuesday, but that's, that's PB, right? Yeah. Um, you want to stay with the Thursday? Yeah. Well, that's the school board. That's the problem. Oh, okay, do that. It's not every Thursday, is it? We could also do. No. Could we do Wednesday, August seventh? I don't think it's going to be a long meeting. I, Except for July. I don't think it'll be a long meeting. Oh, uh, yeah, Wednesday, but, August seventh works. But August eighth should work because that's the. No, 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 that's school board. That is the second one. Yeah. Okay, so the seventh. Okay, so I'm going to post all three of those notices yep. and get them on the calendar, yep. and then they're set. And they're done. fine with this committee, and uh, we'll ask you to just yes, reach out to them and let you know them. which ones we're doing. Well, well the planning board can if they, make this information coming their way. If they have yeah. anything yeah. ahead yeah. of yeah. time, yeah. if they have anything ahead of time, would the group like to see it or, or just have them come and make their presentation? Um, I so I think we're. Um, Will it's be nice when they come. With it's it's going to be. It would be nice to have information ahead of time. Okay. But I, no I, I just. I don't. I don't think that's. Say it. no more. It was an idle question. It's been answered. I mean, if it gets them um, thinking about what they want to bring to it, mm. um, mm. like the chances of me reviewing something before this meeting. Well, there's that, there's that as well. So um, we'll just. Do it as we, as the group is normally expected to happen. And, and we can um, be mindful that you are working as you're trying to listen and participate and give you the time yeah. to try to Let's input and update as we're trying to have a conversation. Some of these things may not be, I mean, well, I'll do as much as I can, but it depends on what it is, too. Because I think there is value in you having it ahead of time, yeah. you know, for that reason that you can try to input. Well, I wasn't thinking of that. It was more just 
to, to read up, but but I hear what Miles is saying, and I, and I remember those days, so I'm I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm only one one member. Um, yeah, but, uh, but also, I, I, but the point of having uh, someone prepared to present that I think that's that's actually yeah. a big positive. It, it, meaning they have to send it out because. Do we want yeah, to I give thought them, about it before they get here. Yeah, is, there's no like template we can give them. But it's not like a not like the budget. Well, well, or is well. It? A certain board member was going to create it or came to us and said, "Oh, why don't we have to do that?" But I don't think it was ever put in place. So, yes, it there should be. Yeah. It, you know, for all a one pager, but you can't you can't in a year just say, "Okay, in two weeks you got to fill this out." Right. So what we could do is if we had that template or any template, it doesn't have to be the world's best, right. is to just suggest to them if they have time to fill it out for a new projects to do that. And it's really just what is it, when do we want it, what does it cost, and what's the rationale? Let and what are the funding you. sources? Let me show yeah. you what the school does. Did I bring that? The school does a one-page thing that looks like this, and, they've got, and our, our business, our business administrator took it right off, you know, just got it right from the state. Yeah, there are plenty of them. Yeah, this, this is, this is the same and secure entrance. Whoa! Sorry. Man, that's right. So this was, this is so, it just looks like it's just one page like that, and she just pulled it right off the, yeah. right off the state. I love this. So it's just that. Yeah. And you put your page through your value, and the next one is, uh, the, you know, the boiler replacement, and the next one is the whatever, so. Really nice. You know, it's so we're trying to we're trying to become more professional. <laughs> but um, I, I mean, I like the idea, and I think so. It's and again, that's does somebody have that electronically, just as a template? I'm sure she does. Would you like me to ask her to send it to you? That would be really okay. fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. So you know, again, I mean, unless the group feels differently, I don't know that we could. You know, it's brand new, but we could strongly recommend we could urge them in a in a kind and kind of fun way to you know. Bring, this would be good because we're we're going to work towards making this the oh, it's car. But I'll just you know, so the CIP yes, that's okay. Agreed. Okay. It's just it's just the one pager. And then they can be put on the website. You know, the public can see them. You know, when we when we're fully vested in this kind of a process. Okay. So so. One further step with that, and I didn't read a lot of the details well, no, of I, yeah. what you have there for your descriptions and stuff, but another field in the in this template, or else something that I would want this group and the select board to think about in proposing projects is the, um, I'm not coming up with the right word, but essentially the value to the taxpayer. Why should they want what's, to approve it? What is the what's the business value? What is the, the, what's the, it's the, the output? It's not the output, but it's the um, it's the business rationale. It's the to, to put it into you know in the terms for the taxpayer. That like what is the goal you're trying to accomplish with this taxpayer? With, with this with this purchase, we will reduce the crime rate, or mm -hmm. we'll have safer rationale. streets and reduce speeding. Like, like, what is the value of the baby? Yeah, what do we gain? I bet you, what's the community value? Yeah. yeah, if you look at other templates, and there are a host of them, I'm sure there's some that, that, that do that very thing. You just need to find some piece of language that you like. Well, and also, the kind of I mean, trade department has to think in that way. Right, but that's why that's a good thing, to get them to think in that way. Right. Well, something's a no-brainer if it's safety like steps or you know a boiler. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer. But when you're talking things like not articulating loader, <laughs> 50k, <laughs> right? You know, and all I know is like this. Thing, you know, but, but I mean, is that going to save the money we're paying to make for this or you, right? You know, like, right, is, right. Is, is the taxpayer going to be spending less right. money for outside services? That's the value. Or, or is there better service? Or we're going to have safer sidewalks? Or we, or we, yeah, get, you yeah, know, right. like what is the value? It, it, exactly, and and you know, and also, um, what I would ask as a member, so I don't know if this is something to add to the template, is is operating and maintenance costs going forward? Mm. I mean, because I look at a piece of equipment, especially a vehicle, sort of the way I look at a new position. I mean. It's not just the position, it's not just the salary, it's the fringe, it's the this, it's the that, it's the place, you know, the space needs, it's the 
all of those things. And so for, for a vehicle, it's it's the registration fees, the maintenance, you know, blah, 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 the replacement. When do we need to replace it? So those are things that I think, uh, you know, you don't want to make this thing overly complicated, but those are what I, I would be asking. Well, because the select board should have in mind that if we are going to buy that piece of equipment, that we should increase the operating costs. Yes, it's, a, it, you right. know, it's not it's just that. That's, right. that's exactly I think the that's point. brilliant. Well, I think we'd have to make it then a requirement that if you're going to force us with something new at the that's not on the CFP already, if you're going to meet with us and propose a new loader, we need to see this ahead of time. We need to not find out about this at the CFP meeting. Mm. And then all those fields need to be filled. You, you, know, you need to help us justify this to the taxpayer, this amount of money. Because if you just send some boy and say, boy, it would be helpful if you get this ahead of time ahead of our meeting with you. Yeah. <laughs> gee, gee, you know, couldn't get to a Carolina. But hey, if you're bringing yeah. something new to the table, that's not allowed. You know, because yep. then, then, then sometimes, you know, it's not, I, I'm not saying they throw things against the wall and see what they can sell to us, mm -hmm. God forbid, but I'm just saying that it just shows additional due diligence in being, thought, you know, some, a thoughtfulness being respectful about, of yeah. our money, <laughs> right? Our tax, our tax. And sometimes you don't think about this, and that's what the purpose of this committee is, is to, is to get our department to think about that. Again, it's not just that one piece. Where are you going to store it? Do we have a place for it? What does it need to replace once we have it? What is its what are its maintenance and operating costs? I mean, these are the ancillary costs associated associated with it that are part of the like, what we would call the total project cost. Well, if you do all the all of your legwork and get all that, you may find out it's not a wise business decision. You may not want to pitch it to us because when you some yes, of the, some of the well are horrible. Yes, some of the well more yeah, depending so. on. Not, I mean, using equipment as an example, but right. yes, you're right. You should do that anyways before you. But you know, a town and a or this you know a group all just gets progressively more sophisticated. That's what you hope for. You know that you make business improvements from year to year. And you know this is a far cry from when there was no capital improvement plan. Yeah, we come way. So you know, look at the look at the good part of it. So we're just continuing to try to make it uh, be uh, responsible and helpful. Uh, process. Yeah. I know this results in a lot on you because we just look at you and say, well, you send a group we do get this, but we well, appreciate that. Thank you. And I just appreciate that we hired a new bookkeeper and he's working out fabulously. Yeah. And <coughs> soon that will result in... We did you used to not have, we, we did this when we didn't have a you, uh -huh. a town administrator. Uh -huh. So there was... So things Some are better there. now. Things, things are better. But I wonder how well we did that. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I guess, no, no, no. <laughs> someone, someone in the short straw at every meeting yeah, and had to use the emails and make the phone calls. <laughs> right. Exactly. But anyways. Yeah, we're, we're, we're making improvements. So, so that was a good meeting. Right. We've got we've got a schedule laid out. We've got a plan. We've got a meeting with the we've got a department. The, uh, I mean, a committee slate. I mean, chair. Yeah. Who, who would also who would be good enough to send out these emails? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but yes. I just yes. yes. uh -huh. All right, is there anything up acting as newly whatever chair? Is there anything else we need to discuss tonight? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. There's a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.